Hi Taurus and welcome to your general love reading for May 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Taurus and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also the roles in this reading, oh there's <laughs> There's a card from a different deck in here. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, could be your energy. Definitely could be your energy. Maybe there's a little bit of stubbornness somewhere in this situation. Anyway, as I was saying, the rules in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Taurus. Let's see. What is going on with you? First couple weeks of May. Starting off your reading, we have the Four of Cups crossed by the Six of Cups. Ooh, okay, so there's a lot of longing here. Um, somebody's not feeling very happy. It could be that somebody's feeling like they're settling or that there is, or that they're being ignored, okay? One or the other. But either way, because of that, there's a longing for connection, for something deep, okay? And it, this could be a person in particular. And yeah, don't mind, don't mind Oliver. He just wants to go outside, but he's not allowed outside on this side of the house. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on in your energy. We have the Five of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's definitely sadness here. Um, a sense of loss, um, possibly even just seeing things in a very pessimistic type of a way. Um, I feel like, again, there's a lot of nostalgia. I mean, this is the second time that I'm getting a card like that. So a lot of thinking about the past. He will stop <laughs> at some point, I'm sorry. Oliver, at least come say hi. At least come show your face. No? All right. So yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia, grief, um, just thinking about a connection from the past here. And so there's a lot of unhappiness because of that. Um, I feel like you're in this, you're moving towards some kind of clarity about this. It's like you're taking some steps. This is teaching you something and you're taking your first steps towards having a lot of clarity about this situation. And we'll see more when we clarify. Let's see for the other person here. We have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Wow, I feel like the both of you are in a very similar type of an energy here. Um, this is a person who does have a lot of passion for you. And this is somebody who wants this connection to be um, reignited. But they're, they're feeling pretty helpless as well. Feeling like, you know, this is just never going to happen. This person is feeling possibly even um, not betrayed, but maybe abandoned by you. I, I'm almost getting you both feel the same about each other in this sense. We'll see. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Empress. Okay, that's really positive because I see you at least moving towards really standing in your power, you know, um, feeling empowered, figuring out exactly what it is that you want, having clarity over the situation and therefore, you know, feeling really good about yourself and possibly knowing what to do about it. So let's clarify and get more details here. Let's see this Four of Cups with this Six of Cups. All right, the Four of Cups again, very first card out, the Tower, woo, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody is thinking really deeply um, about the unhappiness that they are in at the moment and really wanting to make a huge, huge change in order to have a new beginning here. There's a lot of, so I, I again, I don't know if this is you or if this is them. I, I actually feel like it might be the both of you, but somebody here is, is going through this a little bit worse than the other. Um, and that person is probably the one who, who whose court the ball is in. Because I feel like this person is just really having a big time crisis, just like really, really longing for the past here. 
So if, and I'm definitely getting that this is somebody that you've had a past with, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody new, um, this might not be your reading. Let's see the Five of Cups in your energy. The Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you're coming out of this. You're coming out of this um, sadness, this grief, this sense of loss. It could be that, you know, you were just kind of sulking in this kind of an energy. Um, really trying to find yourself, having a really hard time doing that, not knowing how to take matters into your own hands. It, it feels almost like, you know, you were in this energy until recently where you feel like, you know, this was just your destiny and that there's just nothing you can do about it and you're just doomed, basically. Um, let's see the page of pentacles. Like I said, that's shifting for you, that mentality. So page of pentacles, the queen of wands and the four of swords. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely changing. Look at you here. You're, you're definitely feeling more empowered. You're becoming more confident. Um, feeling more self-assured as you begin to take new steps on a new path. And this is because there's a lot of healing that you're doing and you're recovering. And for some of you, it could definitely be that you're recovering from this connection from the past. Um, but it could also be that you're just recovering from the, like, pessimistic way of thinking, the negative thinking, the, all of that pessimism and negativity, okay? But definitely for a lot of you, it could be that you are healing from this connection and just ready to move forward. It's like you're seeing something more clearly than, than you were before. So let's see that Queen of Swords. The Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're, okay, You're definitely feeling like you're seeing something about a particular connection here that was just not in alignment with you. And I feel like that's what's helping you to move forward. Now, again, and I feel like this always comes up for Taurus, but it might be a different, that might be a different connection than the one that we're talking about here with the Six of Cups, because the longing for something from the past is here. So what you're having clarity over for some of you yes it definitely could be from this connection from the past but for others of you i feel like it might be um a different a different connection maybe a current one so a particular a particular connection or a particular aspect of this connection that you thought either was incompatible with you or that you didn't see was incompatible with you, you're now seeing this very, very clearly. And this is what is helping you to move forward. And the reason why you're able to see this clearly is because there's something that you are healing within yourself, which is making you feel more confident. Like It's like the more self-worth that you have, the more clearly you're able to see the situation because you're not dependent on it. And you're not so attached to it. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see this Ace of Wands. All right, we have Strength, so that's Leo energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo and the Ten of Pentacles. Well, there's definitely somebody here who is wanting, again, I feel like it's a person from the past who is wanting to reconnect with you um, and this desire is actually very very strong and not only do they want to reconnect with you they want to have um, everything with you they want commitment possibly even marriage here definitely looking at this for the long term so I don't know what it is that may have happened um, but there's somebody here wanting to come back very very strongly This person might be holding back though a little bit with this strength card here, because strength can also talk about um, restraint or like refraining. <laughs> um, so let's see, because then they have this five of pentacles for which we're clarifying with the sun. Okay, Leo showing up again, <laughs> second time. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with a Leo. Um, the sun and the six of cups showing up again. 
yeah, this person is feeling like they've lost their happiness. They've lost their um, sunshine. They've lost even pleasure, their hope in, in life. So this might not be something that they had realized before, but it's definitely showing up very, very strongly here. I mean, look at these cards. <laughs> um, this person feels abandoned, even if they are the ones who left you. And again, I feel like maybe something more complicated happened where like you're bo you both may have felt this way, um, but they're definitely feeling like that, like they have lost their potential here for happiness. And ooh, the nostalgia is killing them. I mean, look at that Six of Cups showing up again. Let's see the Knight of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Ooh, yeah, okay. I don't think this person is really acting on it. I don't know if they're waiting on you or what's going on here. Um, but they, they want to. The urge is there with that Knight of Wands. That's, that's a huge urge. Um, but they go back on it. They go back on it and I feel like they're they're afraid of this Ten of Swords. They're afraid of the rejection possibly or of being hurt. Or they're afraid that this is just over. So, I don't know Taurus. Um, let's see that Empress. The Six of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, see, because you got the Empress up here. So this Empress to me is you. I feel like, you know, um, something's coming. Either you're moving towards this person or they're moving towards you because with this Knight of Cups here, that's definitely a love offer. Um, I do feel though that whoever it is that is trying to make this move, and it could be you, it could be them, I feel like it's, like it could be you to be honest. Um, it could be that there's, okay, for some of you, okay? If this is you, you know, just don't let ego stand in your way is the message here. If this is, if there's a person here that you would like to reconnect with, even if it's just to say hi, you know, just to kind of see what's up. Um, don't be like them. <laughs> fearing this Ten of Swords. Because I'm seeing here with the Six of Wands and the Three of Wands, I feel like there's a little bit of a procrastination, possibly because of, I don't know, maybe allowing ego to get in the way. Now, of course it could be them, okay? So don't take this personally if this is not you. Don't take it personally, it definitely could be them. Um, wanting to move towards you, and again, a little bit of procrastination because there's this fear of rejection so yeah that is that is the information you can just take it and do what you want with it if this resonates for you so that is it Taurus let's get the final message for you if this did resonate all right and we have the blue moon believe in the impossible there was one other sign I think that got this can't remember which one um, yeah, believe in the impossible. Take that as it resonates as well. All right, Taurus, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.